So let's talk about the system. This ideological mind wants to play games with itself every moment of every day and it creates a system. It appears to think that when it's not going well, it's that external system that um, the world is creating something to make my life miserable. But when I go to university, when I did that course, that PhD, that master's, that degree, whatever it is, that was my system. I'm taking credit for that system. The mind is a system. Yuji Krishnamurti speaks about it precisely. But he's speaking about the external system which exists. It's up to you whether you tap into it or not. That's all Yuji is saying. It's up to you, your system, whether you want to tap into that system. Yes, your system has been created by that system. Rules and regulations and how you have to live your life and conditioning and programming and schooling and education telling you all about this stuff that is not real. This stuff that just is um, passing the time away. Um, oh, wait a minute. The system of time. That's another part of the system that was created by man. Man creates mind. Man creates ideas. Man creates concepts. Man creates bliss and joy. Man creates suffering and depression. Man creates illness. We have this idea that, no, no, we're superior. It's nature. Nature created the pandemic. Man creates it. It matters not whether it's intentional, accidental, whether it's for the good cause or for the bad cause. It's man-made created. It's a systematic way of trying to prevent something that we have already put into the system. <laughs> if we have two, get, two, two football teams and they play for fun, nothing gained, nothing lost. But when we say, yeah, we're going to play for a, a trophy at the end, it becomes systematic. Some wins, some loses. We're creating winners and losers. That's how. That's what we do. That's what we do. If you don't like this, opt out of the system. How are you going to opt out of the system? You cannot opt out of the world, the external system. It will haunt every single human being for the whole life. Haunting means it will be there. It doesn't necessarily have to be suffering. Many can get through the system, love the system, build the system, enhance the system, and what's the word when you take out, extract from the system for their own benefit, their own systematic benefit. Everything is thought, everything is ideas, everything is concepts. Words are made up of sounds, ideas, into into syllables, into numbers, into words, into meanings, into all that stuff. And then we, we have to organize it and construct it. We're a big computer. Our brain has become a systematic computer. And all the brain is trying to do is keep the body alive. These scientists who believe that the brain is expanding, the brain is the functional part, the brain is where all these thoughts are coming from, the brain is just an, an, a beautiful, beautiful, incredibly assembled tool to keep all the organs and all the stuff and all the blood and all the breath pumping through the body, the master of the body. It's not the master of the world, you see. But some brains think they can master the external world. We can master this nature. I made a video many years ago about what is the secret to enlightenment. You start off as a train, one single train, one carriage. But it's not separate from the world. You carry it behind you. You are leading. You are the, the, the train driver. And then suddenly something <coughs> pulls this train off the track, but the original train doesn't leave the track. It's a shadow train that goes off the track. 
and you have two trains now and you don't know which one you're in. Are you in that train or that train? You're in both because both are the same. And then one day you appear to meet God or appear to have some awakening or some enlightenment and you realize the trains, they merge together and they're, you're back on the track. But the track itself is a system. The train itself is a system. There's nothing really happening. It's all thought-based, ideological, emotional, connecting body and mind that wants more than what it has. How to be out of the system? You cannot be out of the system because it doesn't exist. The system does not exist. It's just an idea, it's a thought. It's something that is driving your mind or pulling your mind man magnetic out of your body so that you're concentrating on everything else except breath. The only great thing about humanity today is yoga. Personally, I don't participate in it. I, I do breathing exercises. This body just is grateful to breathe because after enlightenment, that's what you really, really are grateful for, your breath. Someone gives you a beautiful, beautiful range of a car and you go, wow, that's great, but not as great as my breath. Yeah, you win the lottery. Million. What am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to help everybody. Oh, that's great. But wait a minute. Well, I'll tell you what, you do it. You have it. Yeah. I'm just going to breathe. I'm just going to be alive. I'm just going to experience. I'm just going to be in this such it and under loving state. There is no system when you follow change. But then again, that is the system of following change following change it's not that you follow change there's no you to follow change i is the system big i is the system that's why no not many saints are willing to say go beyond i they say stop it i am some are brave enough to say yeah i follow i but no saint says go beyond i because they don't know where to put you you, they know that you're going to go and you're going to be lost, beautifully lost. But you're going to walk about not participating with this world, with this planet, with this, this systematic way. So you, they, they, they feel responsible for that. No, no, just take them to the I am. Take them to the I am. And that's reasonably enough. But I am is also a system. Everything is mind, everything is thought, everything is ideas, everything is concepts. Nothing is profound beauty. Emptiness is beyond beauty. Emptiness is beyond paradisal love, heavenly bliss. The system does not take on board love. It pretends to take on board love. It pretends to take on board love by saying, this is the way to love someone. This is the way to love yourself. This is the way to show love. This is the way to get love. This is the way to give love. That's all representations of that true love because the system cannot project truth. It cannot establish truth. It cannot even discover consciousness. It's so stupid, it's looking outside for consciousness. <laughs> Let's look at for God outside of me. Let's look at for consciousness outside of me. Let's look at for, for, for love outside of me. Happiness outside of me. You are love. God, consciousness. With an opportunity to be part of a system, to create your own system, to enhance this worldly system. It's up to you. That's what the mind has been given for you for, is temptation. To tantalize you into the sins or the no sins. Both are faulty. Both are ideas. Both are on a train, on a track somewhere, going somewhere into the, 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 the oblivion. That's what you are, oblivious. Beyondness. Isness. It cannot discover you. You cannot establish you. You cannot put a point on you, tap a finger on you. You're incredibly vast. You are totality. When 
the system ceases to exist and the body is allowed to be here in its full force using its emotional system to show the real you that dwells within and out with this body what the possibilities of this you is.